Rob Russell is a partner in the relatively new Sydney Art Gallery come upmarket art consultancy, PMArt, which specialises in Australian contemporary art and Aboriginal art. With a background in investment, Rob's also worked in the traditional gallery world, so he's a broad-based experience. Today, Piermark is not a high street gallery, rather it's a slightly different take on the art gallery model, preferring to work with high net worth individuals and large corporate collectors. Rob's been instrumental in helping his international clients, particularly in Asia, to build some major art collections. Uh, Rob, why do you think there's this interest from Asia in Australian Aboriginal work? There's a, a, a century or millennia style thinking to the way in which they um, look at their own culture, but also look elsewhere around the, around the world. Um, there's also a, a huge, enormous growth of wealth that is going on in that particular part of the globe. The rise of, of the Asian traveller to Australia as well has given, by rides, the emergence of this art, this art with its prominence overseas. When I say that it's given prominence, it's still, it's still a very small percentage of these clients who are there who are, who are acquiring it. But those who are, who gain that interest, who, are, who want to be educated, um, they're looking for the very best artwork. That might mean that they want a Picasso, but it also means that they want that great Tommy Watson. Um, we see a lot of our clients who are Australian expatriates in Asia starting to see that trend perhaps emerging. And it's not to say that they want to do it from an asset allocation point themselves, but they want to hold on to those great Australian icons and they want to feel that they're home when they're away from home. Yeah, you always want to have a bit of your culture with you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, it, I think it's really interesting that even the great Australian painters like the Brett Wadleys and the mm. Arthur Boyds and Sid Myers mm. never really made it onto the world stage like, say, the, the Aboriginal artists are. It is now gaining a rise that perhaps those classic Australian painters never did. You know, John Olson has a show coming up overseas in the UK as well. There are more people who are likely to know Tommy Watson's name internationally, I'd argue, than there would John Olson. And he is, you know, arguably Australia's greatest living artist now. Um, he and Charles Blackman would share that title, I suppose, sadly with Jeffrey's passing uh, earlier this year. International work of international aesthetic, it speaks in an international market. And I think this Aboriginal work has absolutely that.